Hey guys, it's Kate, and I have a little bit of a different video today. Um, I kind of started working on this layout slash like putting together a kit, I guess. And I then went on vacation for a week, so I kind of stuffed it away with the other layout that is probably the video before this process video. I did the same thing. I kind of like picked the papers and the picture and did a little bit of like trimming of the paper and then just put them away. And I just put them in these um, clear like what 12 by 12 paper comes in just to kind of keep it together. And the last one I think I just did like a regular process video with a voiceover, but this one I wanted to do a little bit differently um, and kind of talk a little bit more real time. So the picture that I have chosen is of these shoes, which were my wedding shoes. I, and they're just like little wedges. They're from J. Crew, and they're all glittery. And I actually wore them without like, I think I saw them like a couple of days before uh, our wedding. My mom picked them out for me. I had ordered and tried, I don't know, like three or four different pairs of shoes and I could just not find the right shoe to go with my dress. And my wedding was in August. It was really hot. Um, it was raining and I just didn't want like a super fancy heel because I don't know. I mean, I wore, I wore a pretty dress, but I wore like a cardigan and a necklace and stuff like very much my style. And I didn't like a big stiletto, like fancy shoe, you know, was just didn't really go with it. And so my mom saved the day by just ordering these without telling me and they turned out to be the perfect shoe because I mean who doesn't love a gold sparkly shoe and it was a wedge so it was super comfortable and they're not too tall which I really liked. Anyhow, enough about the shoes. So whenever I got my Studio Calico kit and this was I think the last scrapbooking Studio Calico kit I, that I got, it had this paper in it which looks like gold glitter. It's not glittery, it's just like photorealistic. And when I saw this paper, I instantly thought of these shoes and this photograph and was like, I have to make a layout with that. Now that was months ago, just getting around to it. But so what I did was then go and pull some other papers. And I think like this one also came in the Studio Calico kit. I've cut them up, but it was a 12 by 12. Came in the same kit with this paper. So it was these two. And then yeah, it was these two papers and then this paper, I believe, or this is just from a Studio Calico kit. It might not be from the same one, but it's like kind of aqua stars sort of. I don't think I'm going to use that. And then from my stash, I, well, and this one too, this is also a studio, from a Studio Calico kit. It might be from the same kit. I can't remember. I think that it is because it says hello all over it. I think that's from the same kit. And I cut a little piece of that out for a photo mat. And then from my stash, I pulled this Webster's Pages Allison Craft Happy paper. I like the side of it. This is the other that ledger piece I already showed you. And then I also pulled this one, which is also from Happy, and it's called Sprinkles. And I just really like these sprinkles. So I've also cut those up a little bit. Because I'm going to, I'll show you why in a second. And then from a 6x6 six six paper pad, I think it was Dear Lizzie Serendipity maybe, I pulled this piece of like solid pink. Because my idea is to do, and I've been doing this in, in layouts recently, um, is to do some like exaggerated photo corners with this glitter because it's just awesome and I love it. So kind of something like this. I got the inspiration to do this from a piece of, and let me see if I can find it. It's a piece of crepe paper from, I don't remember which one. It's like, it's like wood grain and mint. What's that from? Is it from Craft Market? I think it, oh, here it is. I found it, yay. This was kind of my inspiration for this layout. And I might just do one, but I just really like that look. I've been doing this look. If you look back a year ago, um, my honeymoon, honeymoon album, I painted some huge photo corners like this. Anyhow. So I kind of put this little pink mat behind here because I know it's going to need something to make it stand off the page. And I might do this brighter pink photo mat or 
possibly some of this ledger paper because I can't use this in my photo corner because it would be all wonky. So I'm not going to do that. But I might do like this. As my photo mat and I don't know where I'm gonna put my picture yet it's not gonna be in the center it's either gonna be in this upper corner or in this bottom corner but I don't know yet and I'm wondering if I shouldn't do like one photo corner how is that going to look on a diagonal? That's going to look weird on a diagonal, so I can't use that. I might need to find some more paper. What about this paper? What if I do like a bigger... Well, that's all I have of this. See, I cut it six by six, so this is the biggest um, photo corner I can get, or diagonal out of this. And what if I did... Hmm. Like the rest of the page with this. And like just put one in the top. And then my picture. Hmm. I think I like it better on a texture than I do on just a white background. I think it looks better. I could, oh, I kind of like that. Yes, yes, and then the picture in the middle. But see, I need to cover where there's not enough of this paper. I could find another background sheet. Okay, I'm going to try to find another background, like neutral like this, kind of tone on tone, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went into my stash and I found some different options. None that I like quite as much as this, but this isn't going to work. So I found this one from Cray Paper Open Book, and it has like kind of this pink on the top and this kind of white on the bottom, and I thought that I could flip it so that it was lighter on the top. That's okay. I'm not sure if I feel right. And then I found this one, which I could tell you right now I don't like because it's too busy. This one is a Dear Lizzie pattern from Daydreamer. And again, I would I think I would flip it so that the lighter was on the top. I do like this, so I'm gonna keep this as an option. Then I also pulled from that same or these two, I don't know if they're from the same Studio Calico kit, but they're from Studio Calico kits. This one, I think, is from the same one. It's just a bit of a different, a different option. It's a grid. It's like a white with a hot pink grid on it. Let's see if you can, it will focus which I kind of like that. It's different, but I kind of like it. And then I found this pink wood grain, but I don't like that. And then I also found a couple other options to go a different direction, not with the pink, but this is an old piece of Dear Lizzie from Fifth and Frolic. I recently did like a huge D stash and I saved some of these papers that I thought that I liked to, thought I would like to use for backgrounds. I don't like the contrast of that, so I'm going to ditch the other two also because they're both um, like aqua-y backgrounds. They're also both from Dear Lizzie, one from Daydreamer and one from Lucky Charm, so I can get rid of this. So now I have to decide between... I also pulled this paper from Serendipity because I really like the colors and it actually looks really cute with that 
hot pink. And I want this to be like a really bright, fun layout. I also like that this would bring in some yellow. So I'm going to think on it first about which paper, which background paper to use of these three. And also try and look for some embellishments because the only thing I've pulled out is this. And it's just because it's new and I want to use it. And this is from the Pink Paisley Bella Rouge line and it's these um, cool kind of tool fabric flowers, which if y'all been watching me for a while, I don't, you may not have ever seen me use flowers on a layout, but I like these. I've used maybe a couple of this type of embellishment. All right, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I decided on the hot pink grid paper from Studio Calico and I went through most of my embellishments that are in packages and pulled out some things that I thought I might want to use. Um, I found this sticker that says party and then it has like some glitter looking look to it and it's from the same Webster's Pages uh, hashtag happy collection. It's this. I just knew I haven't used it. It's just that first sticker. So I put, took that off and then I dumped from my embossing tool, I dumped the um, embossing powder tool, some of the powder into this little container that has a lid on it. And then I keep a brush just for this. And I just dip some powder, kind of like if you're putting on like Bare Minerals makeup or something. And then I brush it on the back and it takes the sticky off of the sticker. So that way I can, it now becomes just like a die cut that I can move all over and not have to worry about it. Um, this Brad, I don't know where it came from. I got it from, I'll show you, excuse my squeaky chair. I need my husband to put some WD-40 on it again. I have chipboard butterfly came from some 12 by 12 chipboard, crepe paper chipboard sheet that I have. These are from this, which is Dear Lizzie. There are 10 of them. I love these things. They're awesome. Not sure if I'm going to use them. And then this crazy gel, jelly, like the shoes that you used to wear if you were a late 80s, early 90s kid like me. You wore jellies. I'm sure you did. They came from here. These are the new ones, the Dear Lizzie Plus. I just got these and I really like them. The only thing is it has where that yellow thing is. This was on top of it. And the size of that yellow thing was a piece of foam adhesive that you could totally see through this. So I took it off because when I apply it, I will probably use the, this, um, multi matte, multi medium matte by Ranger and it's, it dries clear so you can't see it. I'm sorry guys. I have, I'm recovering from like the worst flu, cold, something going around and I can feel like it coming back. It gets worse at night. And then I pulled three of these. I haven't used wood veneer on a layout in a while. Like more than one piece. I mean, I used it in the last layout I did, but, um, just kind of like, and it was a phrase. I haven't used like just kind of decorative wood veneer in a while. And then these are my favorite stars. They were, they're from, um, I think they're from print shop. I think Sean Noel designed them. So of course they're fabulous, right? So anyways, I pulled just the, there's three different sizes. So I pulled one of each size because I like to do things in threes and there's three sizes. This is probably one of my favorite new embellishments that are favorite embellishments that's come out recently. I've already used a bunch of it. I have another pack because I love them so much. They're from the new Dear Lizzie line and they're clear shapes. You get 20 of them. This is what the shapes look like. Please excuse my, I probably have dirt on my, I've been, I was gardening today and so... I'll show you what I have left in this pack because they are so cute. So they're just these like acetate clear things. They don't have any like film on them or anything like that, but there's bows and hearts and stars and banners and they are just so adorable. I love them. I like the way they look with these colors. This might be a good way to incorporate yellow. Although I have a thing about yellow and gold. I don't like it together. And I don't need any red, so I can pull the red ones out. And I'm going to pull the yellow ones out because I'm not good. I don't like, like I said, I don't like to mix yellow and gold. So I'm going to probably leave those to hang out because, well, I like the way that they look. I'll just stack those over here. Okay. And then as far as other embellishments go, I'll just go through them quickly and then... I pulled out these Pink Fresh Studio 
um, die cuts. They're really cute. They have gold on them and the colors look nice with this. So I'll go through those. This is my second or third pack of these from Dear Lizzie. And I, I've had this one for a while and I've been trying to use it up. So I'm going to try to get some of those onto this layout. These I thought were so adorable when I got them and I've used one of them. They are cute, but they're kind of juvenile looking when you get them on paper. So I'm just not sure. These are from the new Studio Calico 7 paper collection as well as these. And these are like vellum, uh, they're called vellum hearts. So these are the colors that you get. They're really cute. I got them in a Studio Calico kit, I believe. And then the other things I pulled out, oh, sorry about that. The other things I pulled out were this Alex Alpha from, it's new from Amy Tangerine. I absolutely love this Alpha. It's a foam, bright pink. I think it's gonna look awesome with all this stuff and I cannot wait to use it again. I've already used it, as you can see. It's fabulous. And then I thought maybe I could incorporate a gold word. And I like these because they're not glittery. They're just gold. And the other ones I have are glittery. I think that might be too much glitter. So I pulled out some, um, six by 12 sticker sheets that have this like bright pink color like this one says love this and then there's a little um label down here but i'm noticing that they're very off white i have two of those so they're kind of and i don't i don't like that i, I don't i don't like to mix off white and white when it like paper and embellishments if it's i'll mix like white and off white papers together but I don't like to use white paper and cream embellishments or cream paper and white embellishments. I, I'm probably not making any sense right now but in my mind it makes sense. So these are super cool. This is from the new poolside collection from Crate Paper. I store these in one of my Michaels things and so I have to cut the top off to make them fit. So I, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's poolside. So down at the bottom there are these like these are like um what do you call those? I don't know banners or something. And then these are pen, or maybe these are pennants and these are banners. So anyways, the opposite side is like a fishtail type. Isn't that cute? These are so cute. And there is this bright pink one. I don't know if it's the same colors. No, see the, the bright pink in this Dear Lizzie line is a very, very blue, like a very cool pink. It has a very blue kind of purpley undertone. Whereas crepe paper, I found their pink tends to be a warm pink, like more of an orangey based pink or red, whatever, pink or red. Um, so I think they don't really go that great together, which is kind of a bummer because they're two of my favorites. I don't think there's anything on here I can use. This is new to craft market. I don't think I've even used one off of here. I haven't. This one is one of my favorites. I love this. Love, love, love it. This is the new Maggie Holmes confetti line. And I have used a bunch of these because I think they're so cute. I do like this one that's black and white. Do I have any black in here? Well, I might incorporate some black. So I'm going to do, take that one off. It does have kind of a white ledgery background. I also like this heart. I'm going to take that off. And I like this word together, but I don't think that script matches the feel. Oh, here's another one of those hearts. I'm going to take that one too. I'll have two of those kind of scripty hearts. I think that's it from there. And then this is an older Dear Lizzie line. I can't remember what it's called, but I like this feather. Yeah, that could work. So I'm just turning it upside down on my desk. And then this is from the new Dear Lizzie What's it called? What is this line called? The new Dear Lizzie? Fine and Dandy. That's it. So I don't think any of this is going to work, but I do like these stars and these hearts, but I don't want to take them all off. So I'm just going to leave this out like with this and I'll put the rest of these up. Okay.
Okay, so I just thought I was recording that whole time and I wasn't. So what I did, I hope I was recording talking about the thickers. I don't even, I might not have been. Anyhow, these are from the Amy Tan line. I went through a whole bunch of different thickers and options and everything and what my train of thought was and I don't think I was recording. But long story short, I kept these out because it has the minty color or the blue color with the polka dots and I can make a word out of that. And then the two gold ones because I like the arrows on this and I like the font of this. I did do the word party because I wanted to call it glitter party shoes um, out of some other thickers. But it, I think it's be too, too many words, too much going on. Then I went through some different embellishment packs and I found, I remembered this Ojoy that's from this, um, the new Dear Lizzie Serendipity um, Darling Details. I love these things. I think they're adorable. And I decided I wanted to use that possibly in place of the glitter bow. So, and then that led me down the rabbit hole of if I have one circle, what other circular items can I put on there? And I found from that Thing of Dear Lizzie stickers that I said I wanted to use up the little like um, epoxy ones. Where did those go? They're right here. These I found this one that has the little kind of loop arrow, and then I pulled these from my May Click Kit. And I remembered I was going to use this one that says "You Make Me Happy" because I like the hot pink, but it has wood grain on it. So if it has wood grain, am I going to say I need wood grain somewhere else? The answer to that for me is probably yes. And then I threw some wood grain wood on here, and I thought it just added too much. So I didn't go with that one. But I remembered, even though mine was missing from here, there was another pink circle, and I had a set of these in my own personal stash because these came, I used for my clip kit. I was the guest designer for May. So I pulled mine out and there was, and it was this camera with the, I mean, pink with the gold. So that gives me three circular elements. So this is not all alone. Also, while I was going through products, I pulled these vellum hearts that were from that Baxter Studio Calico seven paper, whatever, whatever line. It is, I can't, there's so many names for it. Just, I'm not sure that I'm gonna need them, but I could like layer one behind this or something. So I just pulled them out. And then this was a ticket and I actually cut it just a second ago on camera, what I, what I thought was on camera, um, from an old Amy Tangerine ephemera pack. And I like the little row of stars. So I thought I could put it on like either side here. And I'm still liking the three hearts at the top. Although if I go with the circle thing, I might mix that up a bit and I still need to see if my tile's just going to be Oh Joy shoes or I could reverse it and say shoes Oh Joy, um, whichever way looks the best. Or if I want to add some small like tiny type stickers like these, but I think these are a little bit too big in a metallic or gold metal that was repetitive in gold or something to spell out glitter shoes or glitter party shoes or something and then I have plenty of space to journal so I'm going to get my layers glued onto the paper and my little tickets in place and glue my photo corners down and then I will be back to finish up the layout okay so I'm back and I have adhered everything down except the embellishment so I put my the word shoes down and these and I tried some different options with these hearts these hearts and those circles those epoxy circles and I feel like it just doesn't need that much embellishment so what I'm gonna do is put down this chipboard piece I'm gonna use a little bit of pretty thin foam adhesive on this side of it just because it's hanging off the layers and I think that it will yeah it will sit better if it has a little bit of foam behind it and put a little bit right here and at the top just a tiny bit there and then I'll put regular adhesive on the other part 
And then I'm going to put down these, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to adhere those yet. I would love to staple them, but I don't know, and I have gold staples in my tiny attacher. I don't think that it will, no. But what I could do is just put a staple in it and then put a tiny bit of glue behind it which I think I might do. Let me, let me test that on just like a normal and see if I like the way that it looks. Yeah, that could be okay. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put, which way was this one going? This way. I'm going to put, what is that on there? A staple in it. I hope I don't regret this. In each one and then I'm going to use that as a place to put that's the only problem with these like acetate and vellum things and they're fine if you're like layering them or tucking them behind something because you can hide the adhesive but when they're just kind of floaty like this there's like nowhere to hide the adhesive so now I'm just going to take this multi mat whatever ranger stuff and hope that that is enough to hold it because it's, I mean, it's sticking off the page because the staple is, is through it, you know, so the staple creates some like dimension sort of. I'm just hoping that this stuff is strong enough to hold this on here just on the little tiny staple part, you know. So I think I'm going to set, let me grab a, sorry if the lighting changes, I'm moving my light real quick. I'm trying to get an acrylic block because I think I'm going to put, yeah, I'm just going to very, very carefully blah, set that right on top. Whew. Okay, now I can adhere this and I'm going to use, oops. I'm just going to rub that with my finger because it got a little bit too much. I do not want it to come running out onto the picture. And I'm going to take the backing off of the foam. Am I recording? Okay, good. Last time I thought I was recording, I wasn't recording. And I did a whole lot of talking. Which might be a good thing in the long run because I probably didn't need to be doing all that talking. Okay. <gasps> Right, I'm committed. <laughs> I always get nervous whenever I'm, I mean, I don't know why I put so much pressure on myself when it comes to layouts and stuff. I, I spend way too much time on one layout. But I guess that's part of the fun for me, since that's like kind of my personality to be a little bit obsessive about them. Okay, so I'm going to, I want to find a roller date stamp to put some roll it stamping this way or this way? I think I want it this way. Oh, that's cute. I dig it. Okay, just like a cute little detail. Oh, and then I had this teeny tiny, yes, this teeny tiny, like bright, bright pink heart sticker that I don't know where it came from, but I'm going to stick it. Oh, no. Oh. Well, it's stuck there. Right there in the corner. I love little details like that. I love when you guys show your layouts and stuff and um, you can see those little details like this that doesn't really like in the grand, doesn't make like that big of a deal to the layout, you know, as a whole. But I love the little detail that it adds. I think I want to put the date right in the middle. Ah. Okay, here goes. I'm sorry guys, I'm still I'm still sick. I I try to convince myself that I'm not, but I am. I know you can hear it, and I apologize. So I'm just gonna go for it, and I'm only gonna stamp it once, so it's gotta better make it count, right? I found it's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. 
So I found that when you're stamping with roller date stamps, if you kind of ro literally roll it, like start at an angle and then go like this, then you, you'll get the entire image. Because sometimes if you just go straight down, it won't, if you don't have them lined up perfectly, you'll, it'll cut off part of it, the top or the bottom. So I found that that kind of rolling technique works the best. Okay, guys. I think that is going to do it. What do you think? Do we like it? Is it ridiculous? I don't know. Does it need something else up here? Like on these? Does that kind of look like wings or something? I don't know. But here I'll show you a little close-up of the... This is rad. Oops. Where is my... There we go. Oh, can I keep it in camera? In frame? There we go. This is... This was rad. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I like it. I feel like it might need some like outlining or something or maybe some washi tape. How would that look? How would some washi tape look on this? Probably not this washi tape because I, I like that washi tape but I feel like it's kind of muted. Um... Parts, maybe? Did they even show up? I swear, these books, like, they're it's sticking. Oh, and then it just breaks. I don't know how I feel about these washi books. I like the concept of them. I love that you only get... <coughs> Excuse me. It's only, like, a little piece, but they're kind of a pain to get off. Actually, they're really a pain to get off. I don't even know if this is going to show up or not. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, where do I want to put it? I think right here. I like that. I think I need some more of it, though. I, I can never just put it in one place, you know. To put it in two places, at least. Those little hearts are so cute. I love the shape of them. Now, I could use a, a roll of that. Probably. Okay. I think I'm going to call it quits. I might do some black. Yeah. Actually, I am. Let me get it real quick. Just so you can see me do it. Because I always do it and I never show it. Probably for fear that I'm going to majorly mess it up. But... I used the, this Higgins Waterproof Black India ink. And I usually use a brush, but... Mm, yeah, I'm going to use a brush. I don't like this dropper thing. It doesn't work for me. And I don't have my favorite brush, but I do have this new one. And <coughs> I like these um, pointy tip brushes for doing droplets. This one is my favorite, but it's way too big. Like it makes big drops. I don't, there's not a big enough space here, but this is a great one. This one is, that's the brand. I don't know if you can see it. Is it focusing? Focus, 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 focus. I don't know, Royal something. And then this one is Master's Touch, like from Hobby Lobby or something like that. Okay. Enough chitter chatter about that. So, I kind of like put it in and let it get pretty saturated so that I know it's going to drip because sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't drip. You can kind of tell how many times it's going to drip too. Okay. You just have to wait. It just has to do its thing. There's really like nothing you can do about it. I 
and then I like to kind of tap it and put some like smaller spots around. I'm going to do just some tapping at the top up here. I don't want to put, I don't, I don't think I want any big splatters. No, I don't. I think that's it. I'm going to try to get some of this ink out of here. I don't have my water in here. Shoot. Um, I guess I'm going to baby wipe. Um, yeah, so I think that finishes the layout. What do you think? Did you drop some of the other side too? I don't know. I think I'm going to call it done for now. I might add some. You'll see in the photographs at the end, I guess. I'll try to insert some. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. And again, send me a message and let me know what kind of videos y'all like. If you like this kind or if you like where I do the voiceover or if you like completely real-time scrapbooking, which I think I've done. I did a video like that for Hip Kit before. Um, yeah. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Thanks, guys. And I'd love to see what you make with your Studio Calico kits or with your... Um, new collections because this is kind of a combination of both also how you would hear acetate pieces like that let me um give you a little close-up so you can see how it turned out i think it turned out okay you can't really see the oops you can't really see the um the glue all right guys thanks so much for watching bye